Welcome to this video series for people who are new to Postman. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how you can authorize a request in Postman. Not all APIs can be accessed without providing some kind of authorization, so that the API knows exactly who we are and if we are allowed to perform some actions. As for this example, we're gonna use the GitHub API. Feel free to register for a new account if you don't have one. Once you are logged in, from the right corner, click on your image, go to settings, and from the left menu, go to developer settings, and click on personal access tokens. Let's generate a new token. I'm gonna write here postman so that I know for what I have created this token. Right here below, the only scope that we'll need is repo. And I'm gonna click on that and that should be enough. Click on generate token. Simply copy this token and let's go back into Postman. Now the token that we have created is linked to our own GitHub account. And this token shouldn't be shared with anybody else. For that reason, let's make sure that we don't accidentally include this token in our collection. In order to separate the concerts, we are gonna create a new environment and save this information there. In order to create an environment, simply click here on Manage Environments. I'm gonna create a new environment. I'm gonna name my environment GitHub API so that I know why I have created this specific environment. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it token. I'm going to leave the initial value empty. And for the current value, I'm going to paste the value that I have received from the GitHub website. Initial value and current value are very important. If I later decide to share this environment with somebody else, they will not be able to see the current value. So for that reason, current value is always private to your account. And initial value is what anybody else will be able to see if I decide to share this environment. So for that reason, I do not want to put the token in the initial value because then somebody else might get access to this token, which I want to keep private. Okay, that's about it. So let's simply click on add. And in the list of environments, you will now see that we have the GitHub API as an environment. And we can quickly see what's inside that environment. And you will see that the token has this specific value. And you will be using that in a few minutes. The documentation for the GitHub API is available at developer.github.com and describes how you can interact with this API. Now, every time we start using a new API, it's important to read the documentation. And what we are trying to do is to create a new repository. So in order to create a new repository, there are a few pieces of information that we need to put together. First of all, it says here in the documentation that all requests go to api.github.com. So I'm gonna simply select and copy this and create a new request in Postman. Now, the next thing I want to do is to navigate through different categories that are available in the API. So we said we want to create a new repository. For that reason, it makes sense to go here to repositories and to see if there's any information regarding how to create a new repository. Now I can see from this list that I have here the option create. So let's go ahead and see exactly what we are talking about. You'll notice right from the beginning that this will be a post request and that request needs to go to this address. So let's copy this additional information and put that in Postman as well. So from the list of HTTP verbs, I'm gonna select post this time and I'm gonna add the rest of the address to the address field. Within the documentation, you will notice a lot of parameters that are available. And the only parameter that is actually required is name, and that is the name of the repository. 
Right here below, you will find a very simple example on how to create a repository. And this is in the JSON format, and we're gonna need to send this as part of the post request that we create. So let's simply copy and paste it in Postman. In order to add this information to Postman, I'm gonna open the body part of the request and I'm gonna select raw. And I'm gonna paste this information. In order to make it nice, instead of text, I will select JSON. And if I'm not happy with the format, I can even click on this beautify and it will make it look nicer. Now let's go ahead and submit this request and to see if it works. And the first thing that you will notice is that the status that is being returned is 401. And 401 means that we are not authenticated. So we are trying to create a repository, but GitHub doesn't know who we are because we haven't provided any authentication. So for example, we haven't provided our username and password, or in our scenario, we haven't provided this token that we have created. And this token allows GitHub to understand this token is associated with this account and can check if we are allowed to create a new repository. In order to provide this OAuth to token, we can use the built-in authorization helpers. In order to do that, I'm gonna go to authorization. And if I select from the list, I'll see here different options that are available. Now, there are different ways to authenticate against a specific API, and each API may have its own particularities. So for that reason, it would be hard to go into each and every scenario. Our case is pretty simple because we already have a token and we just need to provide that. So for that reason, I'm gonna select beer token. And all I have to do is to input the token here. Now we have already created an environment and have saved that information there in order not to include this sensitive information in the collection. Now, in order to access this variable that we have created, the syntax in order to do that is to put the variable name between double curly braces. So this will go like this. And I can select token and it will be recognized by Postman and I can type it there. So the name of the variable is inside and at the beginning and at the end, they are double curly braces. If I hover over it, I'll be able to see the current value and that is the value of the token. And that shows me that this information is there and that I have written the variable properly. If I don't have the environment selected, so if I select no environment and I go over this variable, you will see that this variable is not resolved. So Postman doesn't know what I'm referring to because I haven't defined another token variable somewhere else. Now let's go ahead and submit this request and see if it works. The API responds with 201 as a status code, which means created. So the repository, the resource that we wanted to create has been successfully created. So now GitHub has understood our request was managed to match our token with our account. And if you now look inside your account, you will see that you have a new repository in which you can put your application code or anything else that you're interested in. So for the beginning, this way of creating the repository is totally fine. So I'm gonna create a new collection and save this request inside that collection. Let's call this request create repository. And I'm not gonna save it inside the GitHub Jobs API. This is the other collection that I have created. I'm gonna create a completely new collection and I'm gonna simply call it GitHub API. So to sum everything up, we had a look at how you can authorize a request in Postman. And we have done that by creating an OAuth2 token within the GitHub interface. And we have used that token as a beer authentication in Postman using one of the Postman authentication helpers. 
If you have any issues getting this to run, make sure to take a quick look at the video description for some troubleshooting ideas or feel free to post a comment in the section below. See you in the next video.